the state continues to advance work on the 800-mile California High-Speed Rail program in order to meet future mobility needs and air quality objectives. Construction is underway on more than 100 miles of the system in the Central Valley, while planning and environmental work is rapidly progressing in both Northern and Southern California. In Southern California, this work includes a wide variety of technical studies to bring high-speed rail to Southern California and connect our state like never before. One such study is the geophysical and geotechnical investigation conducted in the Angeles National Forest, a short distance from Southern California's major urban centers. The purpose of the investigation is to obtain rock samples from deep within the 1.2 billion year old mountain to learn more about geology, groundwater, and seismic properties in areas where tunnels may be built across the mountains. While we have not determined the final alignment in this corridor, information gained about the type and qualities of the rock will help engineers design and build tunnels safely. Some people may ask, you know, why are we putting a tunnel through the Angeles National Forest uh, or beneath it? Uh, and the answer to that is that if you want to have a high-speed train, you have to travel on a fairly straight line. You have gentle curves, you can't have uh, rapid changes in elevation or curvature. Before any tests took place in the National Forest, the team identified acceptable locations for drilling, established protections for the forest, and developed a detailed site restoration plan. All these plans were approved by the United States Forest Service as part of the mandated permit process. Only then were field crews, drill rigs, and supporting equipment allowed to mobilize to obtain the rock core samples. And there's a fairly uh, sophisticated process of actually drilling through the rock and retrieving core. And uh, what we're doing is uh, triple tube wireline rock core drilling. Once the drill rig is positioned properly, it begins the process of drilling into the San Gabriel Mountains, known to be formed before life began on Earth. This process brings up samples of the rock to test in a laboratory for strength, age, and other characteristics important to the tunnel design. This drilling program retrieved rock samples all the way down from just a few feet beneath the ground surface to the total depth explored, a little over 2,700 feet, making these samples some of the deepest ever collected in the Southern California area. Each sample provides new information about this ancient rock formation to researchers and universities studying the mountain range and geologic history of the region, as well as to the team of scientists and engineers working on the project. Our experience out here has been that uh, we've had fairly good uh, drilling conditions and we've been able to drill and recover rock core on the order of 50 to 150 feet per day. A mixture of bentonite clay drilling mud and water is circulated to facilitate the coring operation. All water for the drilling and testing is potable water purchased from a local municipality and delivered to the site. No forest water is being used. We further evaluate the rock cores. We photo document the rock cores in as their least disturbed state as possible. Keeping the environmental footprint as small as possible is a top priority through every step of the geophysical, geotechnical investigation. All activities at these sites will be complete within a one-year time frame, and the drilling areas will be restored to their natural state. California's High Speed Rail Authority is committed to fulfilling its mission to provide a historic new transportation system connecting California's communities.